the domain of the composite function is the intersection of the domains of all of the bits and pieces that you're putting together, the components, okay? In fact, that's so important. I'm not going to write it. I'm going to type it. Uh, just because I can. Um, <laughs> The domain of the what do you call it? Maxine is the intersection. We need here um, two square root function graphs on our um, set of axes. Okay. Now you'll remember the square root, of course, is just one half of a parabola. It's just one half of a parabola. Now remembering that a parabola. Okay. A parabola has a stationary point there. Right? There's a stationary point. So, right? That means if I drew a tangent at the vertex, the tangent would be horizontal. Agree? Right? So therefore, if I draw a tangent at the vertex of this sideways parabola, it should be it should be vertical, right? So a lot of I've just looked around and seen the different graphs that people have drawn. And one of the things they forget is there should be if I drew a tangent to your graph. Where it intersects with the axis, it ought to be vertical. Okay, so let me do my best to give this a go. Oh, yeah. The square root of x minus one. X minus one. Um, when I do, when I do this, right? Um, this is hard. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. The square root of x minus one is just like the square root of x, but it's been translated. It's shifted. Which way has it gone? That way. It's gone one unit to the right. Okay, so it looks just like this normal square root of x. But I've gone one unit to the right. Okay, so this is something like what I've got. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Okay. Good. Now, there's my square root of x minus one, and you can see it has a domain of x is greater than or equal, greater than or equal to one. I can exist at x equals one. That's fine because the square root of zero exists. It's zero. Okay, no problems. So if that's where I've got one, then I've got the square root of five minus x. And so I've got one, <laughs> two, three, four, this is mixed success, five. Okay, now, figure out this, two things have happened. Okay. In order to make sure you get this right, okay, I know you can just think, oh, I've seen this before, okay, but oh, I'm going to draw it down here because I don't need the negative. <laughs> when you do five minus x, right? Yeah, okay, hold on, give me a second. Just for a minute. Is it that one? That's the one. The square root of 5 minus x, just be careful. Some weird things have happened here, right? This is actually the square root of... Okay. Now, what's really happening is this. Okay. Now, I know that seems a bit strange. Okay. Like, why, why would I bother writing it like this when that is just that's simpler, is it not? It is simpler, but it doesn't reveal what's going on as well as this does. Okay. Because remember, you just told me the square root of x minus 1, when I see a negative 1, I go to the right. That's correct. Okay. I see a positive 5 there. Positive 5. So a lot of people would say, well, that takes me to the left, does it not? Like I'm used to thinking that way. It does not take you there because it's not a plus 5. It's really a minus 5. Do you see that? Like that's actually the first thing that's happened. I've moved 5 units to the right. I'm here. That's my starting point now. Okay. And then that minus sign applies to the whole lot. And that flips me horizontally. Does that make sense? Because the minus is applying to the x, which is a horizontal thing. Wait, so I thought you can't have negatives underneath the You're right. I can't have negatives, which is why. What values can this take on? Right? Which direction can this go? Only that way. The biggest value I can fit in here, the biggest x value is? Five. Right? If you put in six, you've got negative oh. 1. If you put in 7, you've got negative yeah. 2. Right? And that helps you understand why you've got to go over here to the left. Okay, so I'll get my airbrush back out. Yes! Different color! Blue, blue, blue! Now I'm going to use blue for something else in a second. Okay, so now I'm going Yay. this way. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. The gradient is a bit... So, yeah, it's... it's that one's a better... Okay, so now, let's think about this, right? Now here, uh, we're going to use another tool that's helpful to us. In order to work out uh, in order to work out those important points, the addition of ordinates, you don't just do it randomly. You look at particular points first and you go from there. If I'm 0 plus something at this point over here at x equals 5, then 0 plus something is just something. the something, whatever that happens to be. So if you get your ruler out, you get my ruler out, okay, and you say, okay, look, 
Do I just reach? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. There. Vertical to the intercept of one of them. Oh no, my hand. <laughs> Problems with technology. So use your Too many. Oh, it's done. It's on like fifty lines. <laughs> Has it got enough to do history? No, it doesn't. That's a good point. So, without my ruler getting things in the way, I'm there. And you can see there's another point which does exactly the same thing, namely x equals 1. Now, there's one more other point that's important to me, okay? And that's the point where these two are equal, right? That's really easy to plot. I'm just going to be twice as high. So, that looks to be something like... Looks like it's going to be somewhere up there. Now, from here, how am I thinking about this, right? Well, you've got two things that are positive, right? One's growing, one's decreasing, okay? Now, you've got to get up to there, right? So you know you're going to be going up, right? But you can also think of this in a logical way, like, and this is something you're going to have to exercise more as we go further into this topic. One's decreasing, one's growing. Which one is bigger? Which one's rate is more significant, okay? Now, think about this, right? Remember I said, look, you're going to have a vertical tangent here, right? So what does that mean about the gradient at this point? Well, if, if I could give it a number, right, I would say it's really, really high. It's very steep. If I just go one, like a tiny bit over, the gradient at that point right there is insane. It would be like a million or something like that. Any arbitrarily high number, okay? So in other words, this is growing super fast. Okay? This guy's decreasing. Is he decreasing fast or slow? Slow, really, really slow, right? It's quite shallow, okay? That's why this, even though this increase and decrease, they don't just cancel out, right? The increase is more important than the decrease. Ooh, there's a four. Hold on, I need to get this. Hey, mate, did you pay a sign? Yeah, you know, you want that. Oh, I'm telling you well done okay. for dropping this subject, sir. I'm telling you well done for making a wise choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> he really should be doing general, and he's made the right call. Okay, now. Therefore, all that to say, right? Sometimes when you add and subtract, like things that are increasing or decreasing, they cancel each other out. We'll see examples of that plenty, right? But here, this guy is increasing faster than this one is decreasing. So when you put them together, when you add the ordinates, that's why you have it increasing like so. Now, in exactly the same way, I'm going to make the argument in reverse. As I cross over this point, as I cross over, now. This guy is going to start to decrease faster than this is increasing. Do you see that? And that's why it turns. It's like a sunset. Oh, kind of. that's so cute. And then there's like the bar. Uh, one thing to finish. Oh, one thing to finish. Yeah. The graph that I've got has endpoints, right? So I should indicate what those endpoints are. I've got a filled circle here and here. Okay. And I actually have coordinates for these things, right? This is going to be 1, comma, well, when I put x equals 1 in, I'm going to get the square root of 0 plus the square root of? 1. 1. Root 5. 1. And x equals? 2. And x equals 1, I have the square root of 4. So this is 1, comma, 2. And by analogy, over here, I've got 5. Also. <laughs> Is that it? Ta-da!